Importance and Impact of Inventions on Everyday Life Hello, young scientists. Welcome back to another exciting episode where we discover amazing things that make our lives better. Today, we're exploring some incredible inventions and how they've changed the world. Let's dive in. I'm going to describe an invention, and you have to guess what it is. Let's start. This invention helps you see people far away, even if they're on another continent. The answer is... Cell phone. Next, this invention keeps your food fresh and cold. The answer... Refrigerator. This invention helps us fly across the world. It has wings and engines. Can you guess? Yes, it's a plane. Now, let's look into how these inventions improve our daily lives. Think about the items you brought in your backpack today. Can you classify them into groups based on what they help you do? But, before that, let's have a word game. Unscamble the letter to form the word being described in each sentence. Let's go. Number one. It is the movement of people and goods from place to place. This is transportation. Number two. It is the gathering of information about the world and oneself. The answer is education. 3. It is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity, Health. 4. It includes both growing and harvesting crops and raising animals or livestock. You got it! Agriculture. 5. It is when people exchange various forms of meaning, such as ideas and information, through a common system of symbols. Communication. 6. It is a form of activity that holds the attention and interest of an audience or gives pleasure and delight. Right. Entertainment. Last number. It refers to a family or group of people living together. household. Today, we will explore how varied inventions are and how they have helped different areas of our lives. Let's take a look at the items you brought in your bag today. Who among you has a notebook? A pencil? A book? A wallet? Coins? A jacket? An umbrella? What else did you bring? From the items we've listed, can you group them into categories? Great! You group the notebook, pencil, and book together. Why do you think that is? Fantastic! They are used in our lesson activities. They belong to the group called education. How about the wallet and coins? You are correct. They are also grouped together. They may be used to buy your healthy snacks. Jackets and umbrellas are in the same group. They protect you from the rain and help you avoid getting sick after being soaked. Did you group the items correctly? That's great to hear. Let's revisit the words we formed during our word game. We have health, transportation, education, agriculture, household, Communication, 
and entertainment. Do you know these words are used to categorize the materials that scientists invented and have changed our daily lives? You are right. Let's start with health. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Erythromycin falls into this category. Now, let's explore other categories. Transportation is the movement of people and goods from place to place. Examples of inventions in this category include the plane, jeepney, and steamboat. Education involves gathering information about the world and oneself. Inventions in this category include the laptop, projector, and light bulb. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Examples include erythromycin and the electronic mosquito repellent. Agriculture includes growing and harvesting crops and raising animals or livestock. An example of an invention in this category is the solar pump. Communication is when people exchange various forms of meaning, such as ideas and information, through a common system of symbols. Inventions include the cell phone and television. Entertainment is an activity that holds the attention and interest of an audience or gives pleasure and delight. Examples are the television and electronic door opener. Household refers to a family or group of people living together. Inventions in this category include the refrigerator, stove, and plastic cup. Well done, everyone! By understanding these categories, we can better appreciate how inventions have shaped our daily lives. Keep exploring, stay curious, and see you in the next lesson.